Whether you are new to using Keynote on the iPad or just want to grow in your confidence and ability with it, knowing what the different parts of the screen are can be really helpful for you. When you look at the iPad screen and look at Keynote, there's five main areas you should know that can really help you, both just in general use and as you look up questions through Apple's help menu or on videos like here on YouTube, they're going to be talking about these five areas to help you learn what it is you want to do. Knowing them will speed up that process for you. So, in this short video, let me help you find your way around Keynote for iPad. We'll start with the main center part of the screen here, which is your slide. This is what you're going to be presenting to your audience. It's what will go on screen. This is images, text, whatever it is you want to have for everybody else to see. Above that, on your Keynote for iPad screen is a collection of icons. These serve as shortcuts to the main tools you'll use when creating and editing a presentation, which is why it's known as the toolbar. Apple does allow you to customize this, but I'd recommend leaving it to the default mode until you have some more experience and know what it is you want to add or take away for tools you use the most. Below the toolbar, to the right of the slide, is an area known as the inspector. This allows you to inspect or view and adjust all kinds of details, and it has sub-menus or mini versions that change depending on what you have selected. Across from it on the left-hand side of the screen is what's known as the navigator. This allows you to view, sort, group, and organize all of your slides. It's also the easiest and fastest way to switch between the slides that you're working on when you build and edit a keynote presentation. Finally, at the bottom of your screen is this area known as the presenter notes. This is where you'll type in anything you want to be able to see to help you when you give your presentation, but that you want to keep hidden from your audience. That's the five main areas of keynote on iPad. And to help you out, I've created a PDF that you can download in US letter and A4 paper sizes in the video description to help you as you're building. Hope that was helpful for you today. If you'd like to learn more about Keynote for iPad or for Mac or to help develop your presentation skills, check out the other videos on my channel. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.